younger riders out here uh, at this level, and you know he's obviously got another bunch of years. So we may see our, our first Canadian really uh, performing well over in Europe, but uh, at the World Championship. So I was just talking to our technical delegate immediately after the men's race. So uh, people that were podium finishers, uh, obviously the women uh, and uh, other categories that have not already been awarded. Uh, so uh, for the finish of the men's race, and uh, we'll do awards there. Wrap it up. Cool. Dave, you were mentioning earlier about uh, you know getting a, uh, a, a hat out this cross on the rocks is actually uh, over, over the period of the season and developing a fund for... Uh, Let's go try it for Woody! Go Woody! Let's go. Really it's got to be wrapping up now. Let's go. Well, congrats on the fifth place finish. Yeah, I'm actually pretty unhappy about the way the race went. Um, me and Jeff wanted to get out there and work together, and we both had a bad start. And <coughs> Greg had a great start. He got a lead early on. I could see Jeff trying to wait for me to bridge up, and uh, I just didn't have it to get up there. So Jeff ended up second, and I was third, and uh, pretty disappointing, really. Really? <laughs> well, and, you know, we had two guys, and uh, there's potential to work together here. There's a couple of pretty fast sections. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it would have been good for one of us to win. So, But well, Greg, Greg had a great ride, and that's bike racing, right? Yeah, that is. Awesome, Matthew. Thank you very much, Thanks. man. Sure. How'd you feel? You did great. You looked off. good. See you were coming up really strong. Yeah. Uh, well, I figured I'd have an outside chance if I had a good start, and well, I didn't really have a good start, so it was sort of a it was sort of a fight from the back. Was a good time, and we do it again. And after about ten minutes, we're out. what were you thinking out there? What was going on in your mind? Uh, I I just really wanted to get a good start. Um, I knew that I could, if I got a good start, I'd be in there. Yep. And I felt really good, and on the second lap, I was on Greg Green's wheel, which was pretty crazy. It was a neat feeling. Yeah, no doubt. You've had an excellent season. Uh, coming away with some great uh, wins at Super Week. Definitely uh, one of the stronger young riders out there, especially. Yeah, I think uh, I was the youngest in the top first, ten, probably. First senior, uh, first year senior in, in uh, cross because they changed yeah. their dates. Um, really yeah, I was got my jacket cold. Here. Yeah. yeah, so um, you're moving on to Gigabyte next year. Yeah. And uh, what's that going to do for you? What's uh, new and exciting there? Uh, I'm just excited because it seems like a really good group of guys with a little bit of leadership, yep. which I've lacked. Um, like I think on the road at Super Week, every race I felt like I was in, but I just didn't really know. As an individual with no team there at all, yep. it felt really hard. Like didn't really know what to do. Um, so now like to have a purpose and a good good group of guys working with me and I'm working for them and whatever, it'll be, I'm really excited for it. Yeah. Uh, not too bad. Uh, kind of hesitated a bit the first half of the race and uh, decided to go. Greg still had a little bit left in him and was able to keep accelerating for the second half and wasn't quite able to close the gap there. Are you overall happy with your result in second place? Uh, a little disappointed. Hoping uh, myself or Matt are going to be able to win the race uh, as a, the goal. And I don't think, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. getting fitter every week, but uh, definitely wanted to win this weekend. All right, well, you looked great out there, Jeff. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, naturally, I was sat inside the hotel yesterday looking at the rain going, uh, but, you know, at heart, I knew it was going to be a very good race. Yeah, I was pretty happy with that one.